dog traveling tips to help this weekend be successful and safe for both you and your dog. First thing is, how is your dog gonna ride in the car? Now, my dogs are in crates, and I think that's always the safest way. Crates are buckled in, they have blankets in the crates, and I'm ready to put my dogs in the crate. I would never let my dog ride with their head out the window, as you see these two dogs doing. The dirt gets into the eyes, it can cause eye infections, and it's just dangerous because your dog, especially with the two of them sitting there jostling, one of them could get knocked and could actually fall out the window. So in a crate, or as you see in these seat belts, and there are many different types of seat belts and carriers, but the safest way is always in a crate. In case there is an accident, your dog will be safe. Now we know that our dog is going to be riding in a crate or in a seat belt. Always in the back seat, not in the front. In many states it's even illegal for a dog to ride in the front seat. So what else do we take with us when we're traveling with our dog? First thing is take a gallon of water. Bottled water, filtered water, whatever you have that your dog is used to drinking so that you won't have to change your dog's water. Take a large cooler. In the cooler you can keep the water, the Kong, the treats, everything. And you can always stop along the way and buy ice if you're traveling for a long distance. Take your little portable water bowl. I just pour the water from my own thermos, which is cold, into their water bowl if they need water on a trip. But you can certainly buy, and I'll picture here some of the ones that you can find, portable water dishes. When you travel with your dog, it's important that your dog always wears identification. So you have a collar with their ID, with your name and phone number, or maybe you have a collar with it already sewn in to the collar, the microchip, and the rabies tag. And always carry the paperwork with you for your dog's vaccinations, your veterinarian's name, and the pertinent information in case you need it on your trip. Now, if you're going just for a weekend, you're saying, why am I going to need all this? Well, just put it in the car and you'll have it. I also take two leashes. I take a regular leash that I attach to my harness, and I also take a 20-foot leash. If I get a chance to stop and I want to get my dog some exercise, it's a longer trip, I want to have a way for my dog to be able to move around and stretch their legs. Many potty breaks, that's really important when you're traveling with a dog. If you're going to be staying overnight, then of course, take some dog food and your bowls and your treats and everything that you would normally take with your dog. Now you've got almost everything ready. When you are traveling, please make sure you never leave your dog in the car alone, especially in this heat. Always have someone stay with your car Keep the AC on because you can't even trust turning the AC on and going in to eat because the AC may shut off. So don't stop. Do take out, eat in the car, have a picnic with your dog. Don't leave them in the car at any time alone. So now we're ready. The first thing you do is make sure your dog has had plenty of exercise. If you're leaving in the early morning, give your dog lots of exercise the day before so they're tired. If you're living in the afternoon, of course, give them lots of exercise in the morning. Physical exercise. Take your Frisbee and toss it. Your fetch toys, whatever your dog likes, take them with you. So if you do have time and you can put your dog on the long leash, you can also give them some exercise with their toys. Make sure your dog is tired before you put them in the car. Now you've got a frozen Kong ready to go as soon as you put them in but you're gonna make sure that your car is cold when you put them in. So turn the AC on, close all the doors, get the car as cold as you can, and then bring your dogs out and put them in their crates with their stuffed frozen calm. So I have Nikki here, she's gonna go in first. Hop in, sweetie. Good girl. Van is very cool. And now I have the stuffed frozen Kong ready to give to Nikki and we'll be all set and then I'm gonna get busy and we're gonna go on our trip. 
One thing you always have to remember, make sure you take a roll of cleanup bags so you have plenty on your trip. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like. Some comments below. What did I forget? What should I be packing with me to take on my trip? If you're going somewhere where you're going to be going to a parade or there are going to be fireworks, here's a video that might help you on pet safety tips. Also, here is another video on ways to stuff the Kong, uses for the Kong, because I use the Kong a lot if I'm going to have a dog around fireworks. Joyce and Nikki at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.